Thanks for watching. I'm Margot Kimberg, and this is In the Spotlight, a closer look at a crime novel. Judson Phillips wrote quite a number of crime novels in his lifetime, including quite a series under the name of Hupetikas. They feature Pierre Chambrun, manager of a posh New York hotel, and they don't always get the media attention that some other series do. So let's take a look at one of those books today and turn the spotlight on Hugh Pentecost's The Fourteen Dilemma. The main action in the novel begins when George Watson, his wife Helen, and their 12-year-old daughter Marilyn are the lucky lottery winners of a big prize a quarter of a million U.S. dollars, an all-expenses week at New York's legendary Hotel Beaumont, and more. It's a big publicity opportunity, so the Beaumont's public relations director, Mark Haskell, has arranged all sorts of photo opportunities, interviews, and so on. The Watsons arrive and are soon settled into a luxury suite on the elite 14th floor of the hotel. It's a little overwhelming for them, but the week promises to be spectacular. Then one morning, Marilyn goes missing. Finding her will be a real challenge, too, because she is deaf and doesn't speak. Still, as soon as manager Pierre Chambrun finds out what's happened, he puts all of the hotel's considerable resources at the Watson's disposal, and a massive search is started. Sadly, Marilyn's body is discovered not long afterwards. Now the question becomes, who killed her and why? It turns out that Marilyn saw something that it wasn't safe for her to see. Chambrun and Haskell start with the other occupants of the 14th floor, who happen to be some of the wealthiest, most connected people in the world. There's a French film star, an oil-rich sheik, a Greek millionaire, and a group of chess champions, among others. And it's most likely that one of them is the killer, since it's shown that Marilyn never left the 14th floor. Then there's another murder. Now, Schoenbrunn and Haskell will have to work quickly if they're to prevent more death. This case turns out to have very dangerous international implications. So what are the elements in this whodunit? What holds it together? Well, the hotel setting is an important element here. It's luxurious and normally runs smoothly and efficiently. It's a watering hole for the richest and most famous and its atmosphere is designed to give each guest a perfect experience. Pierre Chambrun's character is also key to the story. The narrator is Mark Haskell, and through his eyes, we see what Chambrun is like. He is a demanding boss, but also compassionate. He's protective of his staff and de dedicated to keeping the Beaumont at the top of the list of places to stay and to work. He has his own history too, and we learn a bit of it in the novel. He's observant and intuitive but he reaches his conclusions in a logical way. Although this isn't a police procedural, the police do play an important role in this story. They're the ones that do the investigation, really. Readers who dislike competition between the police and an amateur detective will be pleased to know that here, Chambrou works with the police and with the hotel's own security staff. He clears the way to let them do their jobs, and for their part, they respect his particular knowledge and insight. So the police do play an important role here, even though it's Schombrun and Haskell who actually find the clues. And in the end, we do learn who killed Marilyn Watson and why. But that doesn't make it any easier for her parents. Schombrun, too, is deeply affected by what's happened. Readers who like happy endings to stories will notice that although we do get answers, this one has a lot of sadness in it. The 14 Dilemma is a whodunit with several international implications. It takes place in a storied, luxurious environment and features a sleuth who feels a real personal need to find out the truth about the case. This has been In the Spotlight. I'm Margot Kinberg. Thanks for watching.